So what do you want to do for Thanksgiving this year? Well, we can invite everybody over here. Uh-huh. Or we can peel off our skin and jump into the Great Salt Lake. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh! Or we could drill holes in our head and fill our skulls with hungry weasels. Boy, that's a toughie. I love the Great Salt Lake, but that's traveling on a holiday. Okay. You round up the drill, I'll get the weasels. What are you doing? I always thought this place should have little bells right there. Montgomery table for two? Oh, actually, it's a Montgomery table for six. Six? Why would we be six? Because I invited our folks to join us. <laughs> no, really, why six? <laughs> well, if we're not going to have a big family Thanksgiving, I thought we should break the news to them in a public place so there won't be a loud, ugly scene. Dharma, you... You planned this whole thing and then sprung it on me? I don't believe it. Yes, but see how quietly you don't believe it? Works pretty good, huh? Yeah, but that's not the point. It is the point. All right, I see your point. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, you know, as long as we're here, um, you know that picture I kind of took of you in the shower? Uh-huh. Well, I kind of accidentally left it at Jane's. Dharma! <laughs> uh-huh. And then she kind of put it on the internet. <laughs> Anything else? You've got mail. <laughs> problem is that I cannot get my orchids to bloom. Hey, I'd be happy to bring over a couple of old grow lights, see if we can't get you back in business. Oh, you think that would help? Oh, trust Larry, he can grow anything, anywhere. Ah, well, I would really appreciate that, Larry. Never figured you for the outdoorsy, green thumb type, Finkelstein? No, no, it's strictly indoorsy. You don't want your orchids growing someplace where they can be spotted by helicopters. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Oh, no, I just meant this table right here, but thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I gathered you all here tonight so we could talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Oh, I remember one time in Vietnam, me and a bunch of the fellas had a hell of a Thanksgiving dinner. It wasn't turkey, but we agreed that it was meat, and we were very grateful for it. That's a, a great story, Dad, but I, I think Dharma wanted to say something. Sure. Chewy, but tasty. <laughs> Greg and I had a very long talk, and we decided that after last year's incident, we thought it might be, what was that word you used, honey? Prudent. Yeah, prudent. It might be prudent if this year we had separate Thanksgivings. We're not going to be together? In spirit, but physically, we'll be as far apart from each other as we can possibly get. Dharma and I are going to be uh, serving meals at a senior citizen center. I thought last Thanksgiving went fairly well. Yeah, I had a good time. Larry, does this remind you of anything? <laughs> Sorry. But, Dharma, we're your tribe. We should celebrate by taking a meal together. I don't see what the problem is. We're all getting along together now. Yeah, we're copacetic. Well, fine. Why don't we just say that this is our Thanksgiving dinner? Right here, right now. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Well, Lord knows we have done our part to make the holidays pleasant. Are you saying we don't? <laughs> you came to last Thanksgiving dressed as Indians. We came as Native Americans. Indians are from India. Those are Indians. We're talking about Indians. Oh, that is so derogatory. I can't even believe I'm sitting at the same table. You will believe it when he picks up the check. I volunteered to pick up this check, but forget it now. I suppose that makes you a Native American giver, right? Oh. <laughs> it was the European settlers who were the real Indian givers. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you know what? Let me ask Greg, and I'll call you right back. Okay, bye. Ask me what? 
Well, Jane invited us to drop by on Thanksgiving and watch a little football. What about the senior center? Well, we don't have to be there till one, so we could, you know, drop in and watch a little football and leave when Pete draws that face on his belly and does whistling Norman. <laughs> Guess what I brought you. I'm gonna have to go with a pumpkin. <laughs> it's my pumpkin ah! pumpkin! Thank you, Abby! Oh, Greg, look, she brought pumpkin Ralph. I was right, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Greg, when I was little, I ate a handful of raw pumpkin and I puked it up in the backyard. And from that vomit, a beautiful vine arose. <laughs> And every year, we harvest the pumpkin, we make a pie, and save the seeds for spring planting. This little fella is a direct descendant of the pumpkin I threw up when I was four. I wrote a children's book based on it, but the publisher didn't like some of the illustrations. Were they the ones with the little girl barfing in the garden? They didn't say. They just sent me a form letter. Darma, anyway... Since this is the first Thanksgiving that we're not going to spend together, I wanted you to have pumpkin. Ralph, thanks, Ab. <laughs> if you make a pie, save a piece for me. Uh, you can have my piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Have a good Thanksgiving. I'll see you. Tomorrow. After. A Abby, hold on. Um, why, don't we, why don't we swing by your parents' house on the way to the senior center? Thought we had a plan. I know, but we can stop for a slice of vomit pie and everybody will be there. <laughs> you sure? What's the harm? You are so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, Abby. Mm -hmm. I'll make a pie and I'll bring it by Thursday afternoon. Oh, don't! Oh, thank you. Oh. I'm so happy. I so am I. Good. Then I'll see you then. Okay. Okay, remember to save the seeds for spring planting. You got it. <laughs> Your corn is looking great. This Excellent! <laughs> Hey, Seal, is my dad ready? He'll be right down. Listen, before you leave for the golf, I want to thank you, Mrs. Tarma, for canceling Thanksgiving. I don't think I can go through another one. I know how you feel. I don't think you do. My HMO says I have post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I am making this big Thanksgiving dinner for my mother. It's her first trip to America. And I was wondering if maybe you and Mrs. Dharma can stop by? I don't know. We've already made plans. Oh, that's a shame. I have been telling her about you ever since you were a little boy. I'm sorry. I, I, I wish we could. <laughs> You are like a grandson to her. She has your picture in her kitchen. Well, I, I, I suppose we could find a few minutes to stop by. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it might be late. That's okay. See you at Thanksgiving. Hang on. You're going to Sidious for Thanksgiving? We're, we're going to drop in for a few minutes. Oh, boy, your mother's going to be furious when she finds out you're spending Thanksgiving with the maid's family and not your own. How's she going to find out? Oh, she'll get it out of me. I'll have a few drinks, she'll ask how was golf, and I'll say, Greg's eating turkey at the maid's. <laughs> so I told my dad we'd stop by for a drink. I didn't see any way out of it. Okay, okay, we can figure this out. Well, we have to go to Pete and Jane's. Okay. So, we'll go to Pete and Jane's first, knock back some cold ones, a little football, bam, we're out the door. What about your mother? Okay, so then we run back up here, get little Ralphie pie out of the oven, drive over to Abby and Larry's. Hey, here's dessert. Nice to see you. Gotta go. So far, so good. Okay. Then we go over to the senior center where we feed people who are truly thankful. And then for a study in contrast, we zip over to your folks for a little drinky winky. My mother takes a cheap shot, you laugh it off. <laughs> bang, bang, boom, we're back in the car and we're over to Celia's. Hola, como esta? Gracias, adios. And then we are back here faster than you can say. Why did we just have the damn Thanksgiving dinner with everybody in the first place? Sounds like a plan to me. Good, because it's the only one we've got. <laughs>
Morning. Good morning. It smells good. What you cooking? Sweet potato pancakes, turkey sausage, and cranberry muffins. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Why'd you make such a big breakfast? Well, the way I see it, this might be our last chance to eat today. How do you figure? Well, <laughs> we'll be lucky to get cheese doodles at Pete and Jane's. <laughs> and then we go to Abby and Larry's for a little uh, vomit pie and pilgrim bashing. <laughs> And at the shelter, we're working, and then Kitty and Edwards for drinks and Dharma bashing. <laughs> and then Celia's for coffee and Kitty bashing, and that's Thanksgiving. You know what? You're right. Load me up. <laughs> you will thank me. Hey! Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> hey, guys. Come Hi. on in. Couple of brewskis for the newskis. Yeah? Hey, Greg, look, cheese doodles. Now, don't fill up on hors d'oeuvres. We got real food this year. Oh, that's okay. We had a big breakfast. We're fine. You sure you don't want to reconsider? Oh! <gasps> What's all this? You remember that mob case we were prosecuting? The whole RICO thing where they're laundering money through a chain of restaurants? Yeah, I remember. Open and shut case. You see, everybody says that, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Pete, you lost that case? Not on purpose. Honest to God. <laughs> anyway, Thanksgiving dinner is courtesy of Uncle Tony's family-style restaurants. Oh, wow. This is incredible. It's so moist. I tented it. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. <laughs> Just a little something from Uncle Tony. Our family's got a lot to be thankful for. I swear, I tried as hard as I could to get a conviction. I'm sure you did, Petey. We love this guy. Oh, that was the best meal I've ever had in my entire life. Did you try the sausage stuffing? Are you kidding? I was pulling it out of the bird with my hands. I asked the guy for the recipe, but he said if he told me, he'd have to whack me. So did you get it? <laughs> oh, look at the time. We have to grab the pie and get to your parents. Ah, oh, you're right. We gotta go. Want me to help you up? Please. Get up! <laughs> hey, guys, we brought Pumpkin Ralph! <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, Dharma! <laughs> No, Abby, that is not true. What's wrong with Abby? She's very upset and she's crying. <laughs> she thinks it's her fault that we cancel Thanksgiving dinner. I'm a bit of a. Because you're a miniature veterinarian? Militant vegetarian. <laughs> no, I can't eat a turkey. I got a duck and killed it. <laughs> oh, Abby, why? <laughs> For you and Greg. <laughs> what is going on? We're having real turkey, not tofu. <laughs> and it's sad. <laughs> Apparently, Abby bought a live turkey, got it drunk, and killed it herself so that you and I could have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Why did she get it drunk? <laughs> no pain! <laughs> he gave him a choice of painkillers. He picked brandy. Go figure. Well, honey, it looks like you and I are going to have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. I'm stuffed. Fine, you tell her you don't want to eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you'd had children, you would understand. <laughs> oh, God, I bet you had children. <laughs> oh, boy, it sure looks good. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. We're starving. We also have spinach and beans and sweet potatoes. And next year, they'll all be growing in the backyard. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I can't even look at this turkey. Uh, try looking at the candy jams. Oh, stuff. sweet. Soap on a rope. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Dharma, did I ever thank you for breakfast? Bite me, fatso. <laughs> Sally! Jim! I'm sorry? Oh, look! It's my children, Sally and Jim, come to visit me. No, I'm Dharma. This is my husband, Greg. You see, I told you they'd come spend Thanksgiving with me. <laughs> oh. I, I, I think you're a little confused. I've missed you so much. Now, how was the drive from Boston? You don't understand. Jim, our mother is very happy to see us. Tell her how the drive from Boston was. Long. <laughs> Look how skinny the two of you got. <laughs> you should have seen us this morning. <laughs> Why, you come sit and eat with me. Oh, Mom, we ate before we left Boston. We well, were full of chowder, Mom. Oh, yeah, and baked beans. <laughs> Nonsense. Now, what kind of Thanksgiving dinner is that? Now, you get yourself some turkey and stuffing and some of the candied yams and come join your mama. Dharma, I can't. Uh, you said my children had just left me here to rot. <laughs> we'll be right there, Mom. Pilot in, Jim. It's a long drive back to Boston. Dharma. What? I'm having trouble breathing. Loosen your belt. Why? I took my pants off five miles ago. Pass him back here. Maybe I can squeeze into him. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, we're here. Oh, Greg, I don't think I can do this. We're not going to eat. It's just one little drink. Okay. Put the top down, flip the car over, because that's the only way you're getting me out of here. <laughs> My mother cooked. In what universe does my mother cook? How is the turkey? <laughs> well done, mother. Very well done. Thank you. Well, nobody seems to be eating very much. You know, it just tastes so good, I hate to swallow it. <laughs> what possessed you to cook dinner? Or who? <laughs> Frankly, we have Dharma to thank for this. What? Me? No. Why? <laughs> no, you pointed out that we have forgotten the true meaning of Thanksgiving, and I just thought to myself, for once in his life, my son should have a meal cooked entirely by his very own mother. And would you believe this is the first meal that I have cooked by myself in 15 years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that is? The kitchen timer. <laughs> Very handy. This is so dry. Here, son, let me get you a little something closer to the bone. It's still frozen. <laughs> Oh, that's the mashed potatoes. It's also your best bet. Oh, I almost forgot the yams. Then wh what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, Celia, thank you so much for holding dinner for us. But I have to be honest, we have already eaten so much today. I just don't think we can eat another bite, right, Greg? Delicious. Everything's wonderful. That's okay. We're just honored that you're here helping us celebrate our first American Thanksgiving mm. in oh. real American style. Yo no sé por qué porque estamos celebrando un día festivo americano. Porque estamos viviendo en un país americano. ¿Cómo te atreves a insultarme en frente de los invitados? ¿eh? ¿Qué invitados? Ustedes son mis invitados y yo espero que ustedes se sepan comportar. María, discúlpame, ¿ok? Entiende eso, disculpa. Que le dé disculpas. ¿Qué le das una disculpa? El hombre la tiene todo el día de mandar un mapa para saber en qué país están viviendo. Yo estoy viviendo en un país de las mujeres. Óyeme. 
Us? 